flex, ice, my necklace ice. The bitch, she messy, huh? she won't stop dancing These niggas, they mad, they, mad. they, broke. they broke, they stressing they stress. I gotta thank God, thank God. blessings, I'm blessing Got cash, I'm blessing, blessing. blessing. ice, my necklace ice. The bitch, she messy, she, she won't she stop dancing These huh? niggas, they mad, they, mad. they broke, they, broke. they stressing Damn. I gotta thank God, thank God. Blessing. Thank the really with this stuff Thank you, Kingfish watching you at least. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Sony pictures and animated movies. They counted on me. Probably not you specifically. I, I think it's a metaphor. For this list, we'll be looking at the most memorable and visually impressive films released by Sony. What's your favorite Sony Pictures animated feature? Let us know in the comments down below. Number 10, The Angry Birds Movie 2. While movies based on video games tend to garner a bad reputation, this sequel to 2016's The Angry Birds Movie is a notable exception. Something isn't kosher with these pigs. It's up to us to figure it out. Figure what out exactly? I don't know, maybe they're just being innovative. Like most praiseworthy animated sequels, it manages to surpass its predecessor in almost every way. Though much of the humor is consistent, the story itself is pleasantly unpredictable compared to the first. We've discovered that there's a third island. With Third Island and Piggy Island coming together as one to confront a common enemy, the flick is heavy on the twists and even heavier on the laughs. How could you leave her like that? Because I am a coward. Many of you didn't know that about me. Well, actually, most of the original cast, including Jason Sudeikis, Bill Hader, and Peter Dinklage, returned to reprise their roles. Ultimately, though, the film truly soars thanks to its newcomers, which include the likes of Aquafina, Sterling K. Brown, and Leslie Jones. I ran out on you on our wedding day, and ever since then, you've been tormented inside. Right now? This is when you choose to do this? Number nine, Hotel Transylvania. Talk about a graveyard smash. <laughs> Hotel Transylvania envisions a world in which legendary monsters escape society's prejudices by vacationing at a hotel owned by Count Dracula himself. Am I supposed to make mom and dad miserable? <laughs> No, no, is that any way to behave? This is a hotel, not a cemetery. Their livelihood is in for a shake-up, however, when a human stumbles upon the place and falls for Drax's daughter, Mavis. The sunrise from here must be amazing. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. You've probably never even seen a sunrise, have you? No, not really. This feature wipes away any fear typically associated with its cast of freaks and beasts and replaces it with jaunty humor that allows each of them to shine. He got into a car at 86 feet. I need a lot of transmission work. Inspiring three sequels and three short films, Hotel Transylvania effectively gave Sony one of their biggest animated franchises to date. Plus, with talents like Adam Sandler, Selena Gomez, and Andy Samberg bringing the characters to life, you're sure to be in for a good time. Or should we say a cool time? How fun is this? Why are you laughing? You like that? <laughs> Number 8, Goosebumps. To be fair, any of R.L. Stein's Goosebumps novels would make for fascinating film adaptations. You're R.L. Stein? That's you? Really? Really? This only makes a movie starring a who's who of Stein's famous creations that much more appealing. Can I open the book on that? a fictionalized Stein as he, his daughter, and their neighbor team up to protect their town from classic Goosebumps monsters who have escaped from their manuscripts. Who made Slappy very unhappy? He's not going back on the shelf ever again. Slappy, no ways! With perennial funny man Jack Black starring as the reclusive author, the film's comedy department is in good hands. Just get to the get me out of the and also honor Stein's legacy by being just as spooky for younger viewers. We've never been more ecstatic to see the abominable snowman, the werewolf of fever swamp, and Slappy the Dummy recreated on the big screen. As the title might suggest, it's enough to send chills down our spines. <laughs> Number seven, Vivo. 
Though Lin-Manuel Miranda -Lin 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 captivated audiences with his music for Disney's Encanto, it wasn't the only animated flick he sunk his lyrical teeth into that year. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Evo Lincoln to Joe. I don't want to think to Joe, the whole lady, I think to Joe, ready. I'm going to sing to you, what's between us, I sing and you rap. I'm going to sing to you, I'm going to sing to you, I'm going to sing to you. Not only did Miranda compose 11 original songs for Vivo's eclectic soundtrack, he also lent his voice to the title character. We couldn't be more out of sync. This is what in sync sounds like. This is you and me. This feature tells the story of a musically gifted Kinkajou who sets out to deliver a message of love in the wake of tragedy. Love's gonna pick you up and never put you down. Cool, stop singing my miles away from the clock. With a cast that also includes Zoe Saldana and the great Gloria Estefan, it's a toe-tapping celebration of Cuban culture with a sincere message about friendship triumphing over grief. He never told me he felt this way. animated musical and it's safe to say they knocked this one out of the park your dad really loved him every moment from when he first met you and that love Gabriela I love this forever in your heart number six the pirates band of misfits having proven themselves as mainstream players through their partnership with DreamWorks Ardman Animations teamed up with Sony to bring this swashbuckling extravaganza to life. I think I just saw you blood. I think you dramatic. I might be a bit on the chewy side. A bit too much. The Pirates Band of Misfits follows the eponymous crew of ill-equipped buccaneers as they sail the high seas under the direction of their captain, who seeks to win Pirate of the Year. Uh, I'm not any gold. No gold, eh? Then what? My guys. Yes. yes. It's a uh, balloon's kidney. Along the way, the group develops a close bond with a young Charles Darwin while squaring off against the villainous Queen Victoria. Give me my... It's just you, a tiny queen, against me, a dashing terror of the high seas. Artman's fingerprints are all over the finished product. The stop-motion animation is colorful and richly detailed, while the story is rife with charming characters and comical misadventures. <laughs> Though it adapts the first book of a series by Gideon Defoe, it's just breezy and unassuming enough to stand proudly on its own. Well, then just stand there like Paul There's a trophy with our names on it! <laughs> Number 5, Surf's Up. As Sony's second ever animated feature, Surf's Up capitalized on the popularity of other penguin-centric films like March of the Penguins and Happy Feet. You know, we're here to make a movie about Cody. Why did this young Yeah, it's gonna be great. Can I get in line now to not see it? However, it manages to stick out from the rest of the colony thanks to its lively characters and unconventional narrative structure. Look at you still from the fire version. Step on me. Step on me. I can kill him. This guy's dancing on me. I mean, just look at this. Broken, broken, God, God, broken, broken, broken. Shot as a mockumentary, the film tracks the exploits of a teenage rock hopper named Cody who dreams of being a professional surfer. <laughs> While the story is undeniably familiar, the approach is unique enough to elevate the movie with a tidal wave of hilarious interviews and loads of other laugh-out-loud moments. You see those things up above you? Uh -huh. um, they're glow worms. Right. So, you write beneath them. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's poop. Not to mention, it has an impressive cast that includes John Heater, Zoe Deschanel, and Jeff Bridges, who revives his dude persona as long-lost surfing legend Big Z. <laughs> Number four, Arthur Christmas. This cheerful Yuletide adventure cleverly reimagines Santa Claus as a title that's passed down through generations. While St. Nick's eldest son Steve is next in line, his younger son Arthur is determined to save Christmas by delivering a misplaced present to a little girl. A child's been missed! Do you want to wake up the whole North Pole? No idea! A child's been missed! In another collaboration with Ardman, Sony 
Disney gave this story life with some inspired animation for kids and a fair bit of naughtiness for adults, courtesy of Bill Nye's Grand Santa. It's that you have all night. All night again. What the night? Last time I took evening class. Nevertheless, Arthur Christmas is a surprisingly touching narrative about the power of goodwill and gets right to the heart of the holiday's true meaning. One just has to have a present from Santa. You do it, Arthur. Plus, it gives us a logical, though admittedly outlandish, answer to how Santa's able to deliver as many presents as he does in one night. Number three, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Bill Lord and Christopher Miller are at their best when inducing creativity in a premise no one expects much out of. That's certainly the case with their featured directorial debut. <laughs> with a chance of meatballs follows failure-prone scientist Flint Lockwood, who finally finds success when his latest invention causes food to rain from the sky. The film captures the spirit of its source material, while its over-the-top humor and emotional core make it directly original in its own right. That's the game twister was just a news bouche compared to what's on the way. What's in the close Manny? Catches the Plus, with castles made of jello, streets lined with ice cream, and a tornado spun from spaghetti, we know this movie has colorful animation for days. Critics seem to agree, and it was granted an equally exciting sequel in 2013. <laughs> Boston. Nobody is my friend on my watch. Number two, The Mitchells versus the Machines. With state-of-the-art animation, pop culture references galore, and all the physical comedy of a Looney Tunes short, this road trip comedy is undoubtedly one of a kind. Every kid needs home. It's not the end of the world. The movie centers around college-bound filmmaker Katie Mitchell as she and her quirky family become humanity's last hope when the world is taken over by robots. Take some notes, kids. <laughs> Turn the robots and fly into the sky. Well, okay, what's next then? While the setup could easily be played for serious drama, The Mitchells vs. The Machines is a hysterical story that pokes fun at many tropes of the sci-fi and disaster genres. Sorry, Mom and Dad, your insurance bringing you the action is thrilling, and the characters are instantly memorable. Mom, you think you can handle yourself so well in the apocalypse? Good first grade teacher. This is like a normal day for me. But it's the timeless message of families embracing their differences and learning to let go of one another that rockets straight into our hearts. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Wish Dragon. Here is a genie in the bottle story that definitely catches fire. Allow me to show you another what? Uh, Dan, this is the table for the hors d'oeuvres. Well, you tell Mr. and Mrs. hors d'oeuvres that this is our table. Open season. Sony's first animated feature was a wild ride. <laughs> This live-action animated hybrid had us hopping for joy. Why are you kids walking so slow? And that is how you sneak up on someone. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It's hard to believe there was a time when the thought of this movie had us on the fence. Spider-Verse not only shattered the limitations of what animation was once capable of, but it also set a precedent for comic book films that has yet to be topped. When I broke my back, a drunk flew into my face, I buried that man, my wife and I stood up. I handled it like a champ. You know what, no matter how many times 
I get hit, I always get back up. The narrative cracked open Marvel's multiverse on the big screen for the first time with cutting edge visuals and an irreverent ensemble of spider people. Another Lord and Miller production. It tells a compelling story that celebrates Spider-Man's vibrant past while teasing an exciting future for protagonist Miles Morales. Hilarious, heartfelt, and irresistible, Into the Spider-Verse offers endless discoveries and is, for now anyway, Sony's crowning animated achievement. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Open Caesar and such stuff. Those were the top four movies I know mm. uh, when I was a kid and all the way up to now. And uh, yeah, Kill Squad, comment down below what movies you remember seeing from this list and comment down below uh, what other videos you want me to react to. And we're on the road to 200 subscribers by the end of the year. And yeah, Kill Squad, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>